Cedar Park Elementary allows students to choose their own learning adventure through a practice called Idea Time. Food Network chef Jet Tila stopped by a couple of schools to share with students about his experience as a professional chef. And schools around the district are making the most out of affinity groups to create welcoming environments for families of color. All this and more coming up on First Bell. I'm Governor Jay Inslee, proud product uh, uh, from Ingram High School, and you're watching First Bell. What's up, SPS? I'm Teresa Scribner. And I'm Sophia Charchuk. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. There's a lot of great things happening in our schools, so let's go. By using the expeditionary learning approach, the staff at Cedar Park Elementary have found a way to give students a say in their learning. It's called Idea Time, which stands for Investigate, Design, Engage, and Ask Why. Every four weeks, students fill out a survey expressing their interest, and once teachers find common themes, they build courses based on the responses. Classes include everything from mixing potions, to solving crimes, to songwriting. The approach allows students across all grade levels to spend one hour every Wednesday in project-based learning while also having fun. It's a time where students can actually choose what they're interested in, take a class, ask questions, um, have a little bit more freedom than in a normal school day. And it's also a really good time for our older students to take leadership roles in the program. Principal Andrew Zillig said Idea Time classes feed into the expedition projects the students put together at the end. When they come away from Idea Time, I hope that they've made new friends, um, that they've learned new experiences, and that they've really got um, sort of a taste of what's out there, what's possible, that they can keep exploring. That joy of learning, getting experiences that aren't typical in their school day, um, and uh, having them explore the things that they're interested in is really what's going to spark learning for a lifetime. Thornton Creek Elementary also uses the expeditionary learning approach. We'll bring you more about their expeditions at the end of the school year. I cannot wait. The SPS Culinary Services team stopped by South Shore and Sugiyama High School with a special guest, Food Network chef Jet Tila. Chef Tila has made a name for himself as a culinary storyteller. Thanks to his diverse background and education, Tila is just as comfortable in the classroom as he is in the kitchen. This is the most important place to reach kids, right? To feed them, to nurture them, and to teach them. And uh, I'm here to, you know, create some fun dishes. I'm here to tell some stories. And I'm really here to kind of just show kids how important they are. Jeff Tila and the SPS Culinary Services team participated in an exotic fruit demo with kindergarten students. Later, Superintendent Brent Jones joined the chef and high schoolers where they had a Q&A session and food tasting of dishes students prepared. After Chef Tila critiqued the students' dishes, he shared some words of wisdom. There's going to be a thousand forks in the road for all of us. For all of the adults in this room, there have been a thousand forks in the road. And, and if you make mostly the right choices and you work really hard, you can get anywhere you want. All the Sugiyama students at the presentation will receive an autographed copy of Chef Tila's cookbook. Wow, that's awesome. Meany Middle School and Orchid K-8 recently hosted affinity events for African and African American families at their schools. Affinity events play an important role in building spaces to make families of color feel welcome. Meany hosted a game night for black families where poet laureate Mona Lake Jones was the event's special guest. The school has more affinity events for Hispanic and African families coming up. Dozens of families turned out for ORCA's African American Parent Involvement Day festivities. Principal Beverly Luster said the school works hard to create welcoming spaces for all families. It's the largest turnout that we had, so it's really exciting. We really wanted to uh, provide the support for them, have them feel welcome as partners with their students and educating them. And so this is really exciting and they're all here. Pay attention to these important announcements. Get ready for the rundown. <laughs> Applications for preschool open March 15th. Families can sign up for Head Start or the Seattle Preschool Program. Both programs have classrooms within SPS school buildings and offer high quality instruction. Families are encouraged to sign up early. Amazon's CareerQuest 206 is offering a paid two-week summer program to SPS students who want to pursue careers in technology. Students can earn $500 upon completion. Spots are limited, so don't miss out. 
The Seattle Skills Center application for the 2023-24 school year is now open. Find a wide range of courses designed to prepare students for college, career, and life. It's time for my favorite part of the show, SPS Shoutouts. Last week was Classified School Employee Appreciation Week. These staff members are the backbone of our district. They are our maintenance workers, cafeteria staff, custodians, office administrators, bus drivers, and so much more. We appreciate you and your commitment to our school communities. Thank you for all you do. Before we go, we want to thank all the students who reached out to be a part of the show. Get ready for our next episode as SPS students take over. This is going to be so much fun. If you want to learn more about the stories from this episode, visit our website. And be sure to check us out on social media for First Bell Extra Credit for stories we couldn't fit into the show. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell. Until next time, I'm Teresa Scribner. And I'm Sophia Charchuk. We'll see you later.